Hi everyone, here's a beginner friendly tutorial on how I was able to achieve these lovely boho twists. If you want to see how I got these done, well just stay tuned. So I'm going to just stretch out my hair first and I'm going to use my rev air. Okay, let's add some castor to my hair because that's how my hair stays strong. Personally, like, cannot live without castor oil. Okay, so now I have my hair in sections, I can start attempting to twist this. How many twists do I want to do? Honestly, not that many because I don't got the energy. I was thinking either like five. If I do five, 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 that's 20. So then I'll only have to pull out 20. That's what I'm thinking about, you know. Doing the hair is one thing. I do want to like the take down maybe six. Maybe eight, four, eight, 32. Hmm, 32 is quite a bit. Yeah, maybe, maybe eight. So I have the hair, the waterway bulk 12 inch. And my hair is roughly 12 inches. So that's why I got this one. Should I have bought more? I think the one pack is fine because I just wanted to add like the curl boho effect style. Whatever. So I said eight, but there are definitely more than, less than 32. I'm thinking to separate some of them. Let's see. Yeah, if you separate it, it might seem fuzzy, but if you just run your finger down, it does clump back up. Kind of like that. I'm going to separate my hair into two pieces like that. Then I want to rest this in the middle. And then you just twist it into your hair. As if you do a normal twist, you just want to make sure that the extension piece or the curly piece that we want to add is in there so i twist it for a bit once i've twisted it for a bit i am going to take one of the sides and then i want this part out of my twist so i'm just gonna oh, i hope i'm showing this i'm gonna keep this down out of my twist so now I should only be twisting my hair and then one curly piece. This other curly piece I want it left out. So now I'm gonna twist, leaving this curly piece behind as much as I can, because sometimes the hair kind of gets pulled, right? Now that I've done that, I've gone some distance away from this piece. I'm gonna take this curly piece and also leave it out of my twist. I still have a piece of the extension kind of remaining, so I'm just gonna cut that so that it kind of matches the length of the rest of my hair. So I'm gonna cut that. I like how that's going. Yeah, so this is how this is looking so far. It's not too bad. I can work with it too, because I need more protective styles that are cute, but not too hard to do. And by the way, this is like my first time attempting a style like this. So if I can do it, you can do it. Trust, 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 trust. Okay. So let me show you how I'm going to do some, some of the front ones because the front is important. The back is a little messy, but that's okay because it's boho, but the front should actually look kind of proper. Also, if you have not hit subscribe yet, why not join me on my little journey? I don't know. I just like posting things about hair, beauty, self-care. I think it's very important for us to spend some time 
with ourselves, to take care of ourselves is good for us physically and mentally and spiritually. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. <laughs> First, I'm going to do a little regular twist. One, two, three, four. Just enough twist to keep it going. Then, I'm going to take... Oh, I'm gonna take one of these that I had separated and I'm gonna rest it onto that twist that I still had and twist it literally into that same twist. So now we're gonna go a little bit longer. Okay, once I twisted enough, I'm gonna pull out one of the curly strands from the extension. Pull this out, maybe just let this go this way, just to get it out of the way. And then I will continue twisting with the remaining curly strand. Now there are two things I've been doing for the rest of my hair. I've either been taking out the other curly strand and then finishing the twist with my hair or sometimes I just continue to twist until my hair runs out into the curly strand. So I think because this is in the front, I'm going to do the second option where I just keep on twisting until my hair disappears. I think the best part about all of this was that I only paid $8.99 for the pack of hair. Listen, go give those people a run for their money. They want to charge $200. No, no. You can do a style like this all on your own and it's simple and easy to do. I really hope that you take advantage of this. So let's get to it. And this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I put it up in a ponytail for Zumba and this I'm here for it. It is adorable. She's cute. <laughs> Anytime I have like locks or a twist or something, I always love the little two pieces left out at the front, you know? So I think it looks very cute. And the ponytail is so adorable. So adorable. And I did all of this myself. I am so pleased. And it took four hours. And the makeup is cute. Should I put on errands? Mm. Oh, I love this. <gasps> ah! This is so cute. But yeah, like I mentioned before, if you're interested in a Zumba class online, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to do Zumba online. Maybe it'll be fun. <laughs> But thank you everyone for watching, subscribe if you haven't, leave a like if you liked my video, and remember, self-care is how we practice self-love. Bye!